So apparently Suge Knight don't want to hear nothing. And apparently Suge Knight don't agree with what Keith V.D. said. In fact, he got a whole other story. So Suge Knight, you know, just did like a mini interview from jail. And the person that was asking Suge Knight these questions was asking him, hey, how do you feel about Keith V.D. being in jail? Suge Knight said, man, I've been knowing Keith V.D. since we was young. We was on the same, you know, little kid football team and you know, I wouldn't wish nobody in jail. I, w I don't want Keefe D in jail. Now, that right there, I've seen all type of reactions by that. I've seen people say, Suge Knight in on it, bro. He in on it. He protected Keefe D. He set up Tupac. I'm seeing people say, hey, Suge Knight just a part of the streets. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Suge Knight, no Keefe D in no did it. But he ain't about to, you know, break that code. No matter how long he going to jail or whatever his circumstances is, he ain't breaking the st street code looking like no stitch. And then you got other people saying he ain't lying. He don't want Keefe D in jail because Keefe D ain't did nothing. Because uh, that goes into this. When a lot of people was shocked on this, the person asked him, hey, yo, sure. Did Orlando Anderson, you know, Kill Tupac? Suge said, no. <laughs> Suge, now nah, he tried to word around it, but Suge said, man, listen, man. Yeah, Tupac died. Then he got shot. But one thing I know is Orlando Anderson ain't shoot him. Now, you got people bringing up, oh, it was, oh, the East Side dudes did it. Pete did it in them phones. To Pete did it. Yeah, it was Pete did it. Million dollar hit. P did it because it's all understood that Tupac had hit money on him. You know, said he didn't say it was Biggie. I'm hearing people say it was other people. I don't know. You feel what I'm saying? But you got people going crazy. Oh, so if Suge say Orlando Anderson ain't do it, that mean he ain't did it. Well, you got some people saying, why would he say Orlando Anderson did it if he just said he going to keep it, you know, he ain't trying to, you know, be no snitch or nothing like that. So he just keep the street on it. Then you got other people saying he ain't lying. Orlando Anderson ain't do it. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's just all type of crazy. Then you got other people saying, no, Orlando Anderson ain't do it. Keefe D did it. You feel what I'm saying? They said Keefe D did it. Then you got other people just basically just so shocked and appalled at how this interview just went. Because Suge said it was only two people in the car. A driver. And I don't know how it was only two people. I guess it was a driver and the passenger and the driver shot. Or it was a driver and somebody in the back seat. And the dude in the back seat shot. Or it was the driver and the passenger, and the passenger reached over the back seat. Either way, it seemed confusing, but Suge swears it was only two people. Now, that contradicts what Keefe D said, that it was four people. Remember, Keefe D said it was the driver, him in the front, a dude in the back, and, you know, his nephew, Orlando Everson, in the back seat behind him. So, you got a lot of people just basically saying, Man, Keefe D made all this up. He cloud chasing, man. Because they want to believe what Suge said. Matter of fact, you ain't got to believe what I said about Suge. Just in case you haven't heard it, this is what Suge Knight had to say. The DA says that Keefe D was in the car with his nephew and that presumably his nephew, according to the DA, is the one that shot Tupac and that it was done with the full knowledge of Keefe. What your reaction is to the arrest of Keefe D? Well, surprise number one, because I didn't think um, Keefe D had never get arrested. Nor do I want to see him get arrested. Um, do they have it right? There was only two people in the car. And Pac not going to tell the story. I ain't going to tell the story, but I tell you this. And it's, I, I never had nothing bad to say about uh, uh, Orlando because, <laughs> number one, he wasn't a shooter. Number two, he came to my hearing and told 
to let me go and tell the truth. They still didn't let me go. If you are called to testify in this case? I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be. Why not? Yeah, I wouldn't be. Why not? After the Tyson fight. Is that correct? No. Then who shot Tupac? It wasn't Anderson, so that's all I got to say about that part. To summarize, you are saying Orlando was not the shooter, although you won't say who the shooter was. You are not saying whether Keefe was involved in any way in the shooting. Um, and you are saying that if you're called to testify by either side, you will not comply. You will not testify. Do I have that right? Thousand percent. I wouldn't go. I wouldn't testify. So as y'all can see, he ain't testify whether he was close to Tupac, Tupac homie, Tupac friend, Tupac what? Just as ain't happening from his side. And he's contradicting everything that Keefe D said. But one thing that I peeped Suge Knight did not say. He said Orlando Anderson wasn't a shooter. He didn't say Orlando Anderson wasn't in that car. But he also didn't say Keefe D wasn't in that car neither. Now what he said was if Keefe had or didn't have something to do with it. You feel what I'm saying? I wouldn't wish jail on nobody. He said Orlando didn't shoot Tupac. Why he couldn't say Keefe didn't know. So, I don't know, man. I just feel like Suge Knight just drop bombshells, man, because it go directly against what Keefe D saying. But they arrested Keefe D off having knowledge of things you shouldn't have had knowledge of. You were there. But if it was only two people, it make you think, was Keefe D telling the truth? We don't doubt that. But was he telling the whole truth? Thinking, yeah, let me just get some clout off this. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I have to say I was there. Because people ain't going to believe me. But I ain't going to tell people what I did. My nephew did and everybody pointing at him anyway. Plus on what just happened to him. Even though... He told me, and I told the world, I was better than my nephew. But police said they went and talked to other people who was in the car. So either Suge Knight line or Keefe D line, man. Because if Suge Knight line, then it was more than two people. If Keefe D line, then Suge Knight was telling the truth, then the police interviewed people that was lying. I don't know. This this whole trial confused, in this case confusing, bro. But like I said, you got a lot of people that's feeling like, Puff Daddy finna go to jail, man. It's a lot of people feeling like Keefe D either got paid, he took the rap, he, he was paid to do all this, took the spotlight on Puffy either way, how, in the shape, way, how far we go. People think Puff Daddy going to jail. People think Puff Daddy was the number one source behind that man getting killed. It wasn't just Orlando Anderson, man. So y'all got to let me know in the comments how y'all feel about this, man. Y'all make sure y'all go shop 12beauty.com, man. 12haircare. Beauty.com, best hair care products in the world. You feel what I'm saying? They going up natural, 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 organic. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, hair products. You feel me? Shout out to my boy, Anthony. Y'all make sure y'all go turn up. I'm going to leave a little promo sponsor video at the end of this video so y'all can check out the end results of what the hair products do. If you use my promo code, King AK, you get 15% off at every order. Once again, use promo code King AK. At 12haircare.com, you feel what I'm saying? You get 15% off on any and every order you get, man. So make sure y'all go shop with them. Y'all make sure y'all hit my like button. Y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe button to share this video. Let me know in the comment section how y'all feel, man. It's a wild one. King AK47, Voice of the Streets. I'm out.